Hi, we have received a very special message to all of mankind, so please keep watching. Hi and welcome to my soul tribe, my name is Miriam Rose. If you like this video, please make sure to subscribe to my channel, like, comment and share my videos. I really appreciate your support and your input. And just a brief mention, I'm running a special makeup giveaway on my second channel called Miriam Rose. If you would like to be in the running for the pre-Christmas makeup giveaway, all you need to do is go to my other channel, subscribe and leave a message. A winner will be chosen at random. Now let's get on with it. Archangel Michael speaks. I am Michael and I love you. There are days when you think, where are Michael? Where are the angels? Have they dropped me? Have they left me? Do they think I'm not good enough and choose someone else? You're taught that you are a light worker, an obedient love work for the heavens, and that is exactly what you are. And no, we have not chosen someone else. That you might think is better than you. Never. We could never do that. And you may ask yourself why. You are not replaceable. That is why. No one else can do exactly what you can do. No one else has your ability your personal knowing or your uniqueness. You are not clones of each other. You seem to forget this time and after time. No one can do what you came to earth to do. No one else can. Your own life this is where it starts. No one else have lived your life. So no, no one else are the master of your life but you. When you are born into a lifetime on earth, you embody a matrix of circumstances. You inherit a body with different biological imprints. You have to master your life. You have to understand what you go through in every step of the way. And this is what you become your own master of. And no one else can do this. When you decide in heaven that you want to go to live on earth and learn and also as the light worker you are to do your work as a love connector and love spreader. You take on a gigantic task. First, you have to handle the very life and the family that you have chosen to be born into, often to bring light and love into it. Then you have to mature and realize that you are indeed a light and a love worker. So you have to go through all your fears and all your traumas first in order to be able to work outside of yourself. You have to pull yourself up by your own shoulders while you are lying down. It is a hard task, as I said. But you know this, you have done this before. You have lived many lives on earth and faith is the sign of you. You have the greatest faith. Otherwise, you could not pull yourself up on your own time after time. And it is in the good faith that you believe in, the faith that always works together with hope and love and also with gratitude, 
goodness and joy. You actually embody these energies. You are unique. No one has walked the same steps as you have. And no one else can be the master that you are. We the angels can never give another light worker your work to do. That is impossible. All the miseries, all the negativities, all the discomfort, all the traumas that you have walked into and have been consumed by and then finally worked yourself through and out on the other side this is what your mastery lies in, within. This is the material that you can help other souls with. If you are a doctor, you have to be sick first and then get well to know what you are dealing with. If you are a lawyer, you have to have a personal experience with injustice first to be able to understand the very need of a lawyer. Do you understand me? You can never help anyone if you don't have a personal experience of the matter. That is impossible. You sometimes value a grade from a university, but by reading in books will take you where? Reading in a book gives you a hint of things, but you can never get the full picture. By going to real earth university, learning by living, it is the ultimate place to study. Never look down on yourself if you have gone to the school of life, your life. It is not less than any diplomas or grades or education of any university. Ask your doctor, have you ever been sick yourself? Ask your lawyer, have you ever encountered injustice? Just ask. Ask them. Everyone you meet, ask them questions to learn more about the one you choose to trust. Do you trust grades, a diploma, or a fancy education? Or do you trust your gut feeling, your heart feeling, and a personal connection and a personal experience? Who do you trust? Ask and make them talk about themselves and their personal experience. The grades they want to show you does not mean so much. Anyone can read a book and study for a test and get good grades. Ask so you can feel their heart's ambition and then it is up to you to make a choice. Do you want to visit a doctor that has never been ill, never been sick for one single day? Can this doctor be empathetic enough? Can this doctor relate to you? If you go to a healer, they must understand how it is for you. A healer's first task is always to heal themselves. A true healer needs to know about being opposite to being healed first. Otherwise, how can they heal if they don't know anything about it? Personal experience, dear, is all I talk about today and it is vital, very important. And the same goes for all occupations. Ask. To ask a question means that you are interested, that you care, but many professionals hide behind a proper schooling. The right kind of university the perfect grades, the best diploma, you must learn to see straight through and into people's hearts. What hides behind all the diplomas and the degrees? You must absolutely learn to not look down on yourself 
anymore. You have indeed walked on earth and learned in the school of life, where there are no diplomas given, nor given any grades, nor a prize. But God always walks beside you, as well as the embodiment of Gaia, and they know all about you. Please, dear, be proud of yourself and all of your life, and all of your steps you took, whether they were small or big, or whatever they were, they were the steps you took. And all that you have learned is because of them all. I actually want you to give praise to your feet and love your feet for every step they have taken for you. In our eyes, we see you radiant, your radiant light, the beautiful colors that indeed is your grades, is your diploma, and all the confirmation of your hard work. Love yourself and be grateful that God knows you to 100% and everyone else in heaven can see you for who you truly are. Your colors and light and pattern reveals you totally. You embody the unique light on earth and you are a precious pillar of love and no one else can do this important transformation work but you. So please believe in yourself and hear me out when I say I love you very much. Your Archangel Michael I hope you enjoyed this message, a very special message to all humanity, especially the light workers from Archangel Michael. With absolute gratitude, love and light, cosmic kisses to everyone. Till next time, bye for now.